It's Haley. Great to see you here again at my sticky studio. Well, this week I've really got a challenge. And I mean an actual challenge. You see, my friend Jake challenged me to a pancake decorating contest. Pancakes! And I'm only allowed to use things that people actually eat on pancakes. <laughs> Hard, oh, I mean yum, chocolate syrup. Yum, regular syrup. A classic. Strawberry spread. Modern. And, of course, whipped cream. Another classic. For all your holiday needs and pancake decorating contests, I'm covered. Now, the first challenge is to make a giraffe. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, it needs ears. Duh, Haley. Oh, we gotta get spots. good as I thought it would be. <laughs> hmm, well, ooh, this sure is sticky. I'm still supposed to create three more images to compete with Jake. You know what I need? Some determination. Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Today's story is about two of Jesus' disciples, Peter and John. They were determined to spread the truth about Jesus and follow the Holy Spirit's leading no matter how hard things got. Well, well I think I'm feeling more determined just thinking about it. I can do this! Oh no, oh no. I'm, I'm just gonna clean this up first. Be right back. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, Chapters 3 and 4. John found himself nearly skipping as he and Peter made their way up toward the temple. More than 3,000. More than 3,000 people are following Jesus now. I've never seen anything like it. The way people are sharing their homes, their food. Every day a few more people believe. This tell the whole world gig is going more smoothly than I expected. As Peter and John approached the temple gate, they saw a man lying on a mat. Please, help me. We'll call the man Ezra. For his entire life, he'd been unable to walk a single step. Could I have a few coins for food? Peter and John looked directly at the man. Peter could feel the power of God's spirit rising inside him. Look at us. Ezra fixed his gaze at the disciples and held out his hand. I don't have silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus, Get up and walk. Peter reached out and took Ezra's hand. Instantly, his feet became strong. He leapt to his feet. Wait, what? How? He took a step, a skip, a hop, and a jump. Praise Jesus! Ezra began to dance and spin around. This guy couldn't even walk 10 minutes ago. And as you might guess, a big crowd gathered. Peter called out loudly. Fellow Israelites, 
Why does this surprise you? It's not as if we've made this man walk by our own power or godliness. God has done this. God has brought glory to Jesus who serves him. This man whom you see and know was made strong because of faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus has healed him completely. Wowzers! So turn away from your sins and turn to God. Then your sins will be wiped away. But while the crowd was wowed, the religious leaders were fuming. They sent the captain of the temple guard to arrest Peter and John and sent them to prison. Preach it to the rats, boys. What's that you said about things going smoothly? God's Holy Spirit is still with us, even here. The next day, a group of religious leaders, including the high priest Annas and his family, gathered together. They ordered the guards to bring Peter and John before them. By what power did you do this? And through whose name? Peter didn't hesitate. Rulers and elders, do you want to know why we were kind to a man who couldn't walk? Are you asking how he was healed? Peter gestured to where Ezra was standing, not far off, watching. Ezra did a little two-step. The religious leaders glared. You nailed Jesus Christ of Nazareth to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that this man stands healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. If mics had been invented, Peter would have dropped one right there. The leaders glowered and Annas cleared his throat. Leave now and never come back until we call for you. Once Peter and John had been taken out, the leaders grumbled to each other. The nerve. These are common men with no training. So bold. I hate to say it, but... Say what? Well, the way they talk, you can tell they've been with Jesus. <laughs> but what can we do with them? Everyone in Jerusalem knows they performed a miracle. We can't say it didn't happen. This stops here. It stops now. We give them a warning. Never speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Ah, yes, that's it. Peter and John were brought to stand before the religious leaders again. You must never speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Yes, or, or, or else. Peter and John exchanged a glance. They knew these leaders had the power to lock them up or even kill them. Which is right from God's point of view? Should we listen to you? Or should we listen to God? You be the judges. There's nothing else we can do. We have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. Just don't do it! The leaders couldn't find any reason to keep Peter and John in prison. So they finally let them go. Yes! Exploding fist bumps, my bros! Peter and John returned to their friends and shared everything God had done. Through the power of God's Spirit, the number of believers had now grown to more than 5,000. Whoa, how amazing of a story was that? Peter and John were so brave. They were so bold and confident because the Holy Spirit gave them confidence. From Abraham to Joseph to David, God made amazing promises to save and bless his people. And Jesus was the ultimate fulfillment of God's many promises. After Jesus died, rose again, and went back to heaven, his disciples knew it was their job to share the good news about Jesus. And once they had the Holy Spirit, they were able to do so. Just think how Peter and John healed that man with the power of God, and then lots of people learned about Jesus. Or how they didn't back down when religious leaders questioned them. They were determined to finish what they started. And because they relied on God, they did it with confidence. And you know who else has been throwing down some confidence? <laughs> it's your girl, Haley. Woo, take a look. Just look at these masterpieces. Okay, so I guess they're not the greatest pancake paintings you've ever seen, but I wanted to complete Jake's challenge, so I, I did my best. Sometimes it's easy to want to quit something when suddenly it gets difficult, like maybe learning how to ice skate, or reading a new book was easy at first and then it got harder, but it's always worth it to finish what you started. That's the one thing to remember today. Keep going even when it gets tough. 
Well, that's all I've got for you today, kiddos. Now, the only question is, what am I going to do with all these extra pancake toppings? Mm -hmm. Always start things like this. I don't know why. Hey, welcome to the So and So Show. I'm John, and that's Brandon. Yes, I am. During today's show, anytime anyone asks a question, a bucket of something will be dumped on their head. Brandon, tell everyone all the shenanigans we're gonna get into today. You bet, John. First, we got a someone who knows stuff. A boom. We got Kellen with an awesome Bible story. Double boom. Puppet Head Theater. Triple boom. And wait, wait, wait. wait. What comes after triple boom? Uh. Quadruple. Right. Yeah, quadruple. Boom. Thanks, Brandon. No problem, John. See, why did a bucket of rice just get dumped on my head? Uh... <laughs> what was it that time? Uh... Powdered sugar. Shredded cheese. I think I know what's happening. 
Oh yeah? What's happening? I think every time we ask a question, something gets poured on our head. I see. Yeah, but how do we, uh, you know, I mean, how... Uh, we ask questions all the time. We, we, we might as well not do the show if we can't ask questions. I know, but what about... Uh, uh, people are counting on us to do the show. Yeah. Some of uh, the things we do on the show really matter. I mean, it's, it's, it's not always about having baked beans dubbed on your head. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Uh... <sighs> you're right, let's call it a day. No, no, you're right. We have got to keep going. Just don't ask any questions. I'll try. Why was it? Nope, not gonna ask it. I've got it. It's time for someone who knows stuff. Oh. Come on in here, okay, to grab that. Have a seat. Yeah. 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 Pull on in. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Some. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you for coming to the show today. Oh, thank you for having me, I'm very excited. Uh-huh, so who are you? We, we would like to know your name and your area of expertise. Oh, good, yeah, uh, so my name is Dr. Ira Viscus, uh -huh. and I'm here to answer any questions that you might have regarding chemical reactions. So, ask away. You go first, Brandon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, John. Thank you. Dr. Viscous, mm. do you have what I mean to say? You do have mm. a favorite chemical reaction that you like to demonstrate on occasion. I presume. Oh, mm. I do. <laughs> you do? Okay. <laughs> of course, now I, now I like all chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're, they're wonderful. However, my favorite kind are the ones that create slime. <laughs> oh, no kidding. What kind of slime? Uh... Well, no. Oh, this is really good slime. It's the perfect consistency to drop on someone's head. <laughs> Terrific. Yeah, you see, the, the, the thicker slimes, they don't drop as fast, and they're pretty hard to get out of your hair, so you huh. keep it short. Oh, man. hey, uh, do you have any, uh, I mean, what I mean to ask, what to say, mm. is uh, in, in there, mm. in the, uh, mm. there, there's slime in there. God, oh, there is some slime in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's great, great. That's oh, awesome. awesome, what kind is this? Uh, cool. What? Oh! Ah! 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 Very nice! <laughs> this is called the fluffy slime. It's created when you mix polyvinyl acetate with good old fashioned shaving cream. Feel it, it's very squishy. That's great. Oh, yeah, see, look at really it. Pulls like that and go bounces. Yeah. <laughs> and this one here, this is the classic slime, you see. It's amazing what a little sodium borate can do. Look at that. It's, oh, it's gooey, it's bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> How long? Uh, uh, it must have taken you a long time to learn all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Lots of time, lots of school, lots of hard work and study. But when something's important to you, it's worth it for, for you to keep going, you know? So, do you know what I mean? Uh... Oh, oh, that's awesome! I love the slime! I love the slime! I, uh, I think I understand, Brandon. Yeah? We gotta make it through this show! It's worth it! Yeah! We've come this far, let's do it! Yes! Thanks for coming on the show, Dr. Viscus! Oh, you're welcome! It's my pleasure! I love the slime! Oh, and you? 
you can keep those. <laughs> wow, thanks. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, goodbye. Bye, Bye, see you. Oh, oh. Hope you can oh. see me. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. Uh. Uh. So, what, what happens, happens next? Uh. It's, it's Bible, Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> Hey guys, whoa, that was not what I was expecting. I don't know, seems pretty normal to me. Eh, all right, well, I was gonna ask for your help to tell the Bible story, but if you're too slimy, oh, we're, we're good. good. Great, then it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. Sometime after Jesus had been crucified, resurrected, and taken up to heaven, Two followers of Jesus named Peter and John went to the temple to pray. Well, it's prayer time, John. We're almost at the temple. Hold on a minute. Look over there. As John and Peter were nearing the temple, they saw a man who had never been able to walk. Change? Spare some change for a poor man? I don't have any silver or gold, but I can give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. That's the problem. Oh, you can now, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Tell him, John. Whoa. Whoa. I can walk. Look at that. I can also jump. Whoa. And, and, and I can. I can dance! I'll go Jesus, I'll go Jesus, I'll go Jesus, you're the best! Sure. So the man followed Peter and John into the temple courtyard. People saw him walking and jumping and praising God and were amazed because they knew it was the same man who used to sit and beg at the temple gate. So Peter turned to the gathering crowd and said, I don't know why you're surprised. It's not as if we've made this man walk. The God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has done this. Tell him, John. When Jesus died on the cross, God raised him from the dead. We saw it with our own eyes. Tell him, John. It is faith in Jesus that has healed this man completely. And now you can see that with your own eyes. Watch. Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. Go Jesus, go Jesus, I'm gonna never stop dancing. Whoa! The priests of the temple were very upset with what Peter and John were saying about Jesus coming back from the dead. So they had them arrested and thrown into prison. The next day, Peter and John were brought to the high priest. You can't just go around healing people and talking about Jesus like that. Listen. When you nailed Jesus to a cross, God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that the man was healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. Tell him, John. Now you listen. You must never, 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 ever, 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 ever speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Don't do it. All right, let me think. Listen to you, listen to God. Listen to you, the high priest, or listen to God, the creator of the universe, with the ability to bring someone back from the dead. That's a tough choice. Wait, no, it's not. Is that a tough choice, John? Uh. No, there is nothing else that we can do. Uh. We have to speak about what we've seen and heard. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, you should definitely be punished, though. I, I, I don't know how yet, but I'm going to think really hard about it. Now get out! Get out! Uh. The high priest wanted to punish Peter and John, but they didn't want to upset the people who were still amazed at how God healed the man who couldn't walk. Dance party! Oh yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Show me your moves, John, go! Woo, right back at me! Doosh, whoops, whoops. The end. You guys, take a bow, great story. My pleasure. Good job, John.
Thanks for your help. Man, John and Peter were so determined. You know, I think they'd keep going no matter what happened to them. Absolutely. They were going to tell everyone they came into contact with what they had heard Jesus say and what they had seen Jesus do. Right. Because when something's important, it's worth it to keep going even when it gets tough. I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, that's all I got. Unless, do you guys need anything else? Uh... Nope. We don't need anything else, Kellen. Good. You could have warned me. Yeah. Bye, Kellen. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Kellen got slimed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you... Uh, oh. I mean, why... Uh, Tell me your thoughts. I know what's coming next. Uh, oh, 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 you mean... Yeah. Reveal, reveal the, the question. question! How are we supposed to... I, I mean, I mean, we can't say that without the... Ew, ew. I know. Oh, wait. I've got it. What? What keeps you from finishing what you start? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it a difficult math problem? Is it that you don't think you're big enough or smart enough or strong enough? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. We made it! Yeah, we should do it this way every time. No! Oh, okay.